started taking on sponsorships in just about every video because before this point, I really wasn't being reached out to by companies that I could confidently get behind. And then it all kind of happened very fast from there. It really snowballed and within a month, pretty much, I had this whole new substantial income stream. Sponsors is a whole nother topic though. I'll save that for another time. But ever since that apartment tour video and the consulting video, I've really just been riding the wave and honing in on my video making skills. Then I quit my consulting job, but before announcing that I quit, I stopped talking about consulting almost entirely for months to see if my channel would take a hit. And when I saw that my channel did not take a hit, that's when I announced it. And then when I went YouTube full time, I started putting out basically one video a week and really taught myself how to get better at editing and make a more engaging video because I finally had the time to dedicate to it. And here we are today. So I guess the tip there is to quit your job. <laughs> I am totally kidding. I should probably cut that out. That's irresponsible. But seriously, I should say this. I did not quit my consulting job until my YouTube income surpassed my consulting income. And that is